The Sustainable Lifestyles and Education Program of the One Planet Network aims to foster the uptake of sustainable lifestyles as the common norm. Through a global network of experts, practitioners, and learners, the program develops tools and resources that allow policymakers, businesses, and civil society to build sustainable systems of living. Over the past few years, we have developed and implemented projects in our aim to make sustainable lifestyles a focus in every learning environment. The global search for sustainable schools started in 2019 and supports teachers and students from more than 40 schools across nine countries. Despite the challenges of COVID-19, participating schools developed and implemented action plans and projects within school curriculums and extracurricular activities such as wetland and topsoil restoration and education campaigns around food, energy, water and waste. In the Philippines, school gardening programs were updated to become home garden programs, continuing much needed nutritional support to families and spreading knowledge about the ecological footprint of the food we eat. And in South Africa, water conservation programs adapted to the enhanced sanitation and hygiene protocols by implementing tippy taps to better control the water used during the pandemic. We've learned the critical value of schools as centers of community stability and support. Engaging students in the planning and implementation of projects creates a sense of ownership that enhances a sense of agency in charting their own sustainable living journey and seeing the local impact. Trust Fund projects are on-the-ground projects that investigate and test pathways to sustainable living. In Solak, a rural community in Armenia, the overdependence on imported natural gas puts a heavy financial burden on farmers' households. An NGO called Armenian Women for Health and Healthy Environment, in collaboration with a few universities, including the University of Chile, sought to introduce clean energy solutions along the agri-food chains. For example, solar-powered water pumps to irrigate lentils and other climate-resilient crops. The project also introduced online courses and field activities, such as training for students and business model support for farmers. While working in Armenia, and indeed in all of our 24 Trust Fund project locations, we have learned that sustainable ways of living reduces negative impacts from our lives, such as resource use and GHG emissions. It also paves the way for reliable livelihoods enabling people to live through the shocks and pressures from environment, society, and economy, such as COVID-19. People can identify local opportunities by addressing their concerns and enabling more sustainable ways of living, including identifying local natural resources that are not yet fully utilized. Our third project has been to create the Good Life Goals in association with the creative change agency, Futera. This is essentially a toolkit that outlines a set of tangible actions linking individual lifestyles with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The Good Life Goals lay out specific ways anyone can contribute towards the huge, planet-changing objectives that sit at the heart of the SDG agenda. We worked with Danon, a global food company, which holds the world's largest football tournament for 10 to 12-year-olds yearly. They have encouraged youth to learn and interact with the Good Life Goals, voting on which goal they had as a favorite. In 2019, the winners were Goal 1, Help End Poverty. Goal 5, Treat Everyone Equally. And Goal 13, Act on Climate. Using the Good Life Goals allowed Danon to get a global picture of kids' expectations regarding tomorrow's world. Sustainability won't be solved by institutions without individuals. Another project that highlights what individuals can do is Anatomy of Action. UNEP developed the Anatomy of Action Toolkit with the UN School of Disruptive Design in 2016. It outlines five areas of individual change people can make to support the growing shift to global sustainability. Represented by your five fingers. Food, stuff, move, money, and fun. 
food. Did you know that if everybody eliminates meat and dairy from their diet, there could be a 49% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions from food production and a 76% reduction in land used for food production. So if everyone cuts down on their meat and dairy consumption, we would come a long way. Since 2019, SLE has supported the Anatomy of Action to create a global social media challenge. From Latin America and the Caribbean to Ghana, India, France, and the Baltic region, the goal is to reach 20 million youth by 2022. Today, we've looked at just a snapshot of the exciting projects the SLE program has undertaken. But the Sustainable Lifestyles Education Hub, launched in spring 2021, showcases all the projects and resources, as well as policy guidance, teaching materials, case studies, and practical solutions for education for sustainable lifestyles. We encourage visitors not only to share and use these resources, but also contribute to the Hub with material from around the globe. Please also visit the One Planet Network for more information about the SLE program and the vital work we do.